Other Boy Reactions. Hey guys, Other Boy Reactions here. Alright, so we're back with Shameless. Um, this is the last episode of Season 2. Uh, season 2, Episode 12, Fiona Interrupted. Um, yeah, let's jump right into it. Monica, come home! I love you! I'll never leave you! <sighs> it's pretty tight. I don't want to slip and cut his leg mm -hmm. off. Well, you could clip his ankle bracelet and his foreskin at the same time. Oh my god. Having to clean up your own parents' blood. <sighs> Don't make a fucking joke. Fuck! Don't worry, they're already pretty fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. I love this guitar music that they're playing. <clears throat> Instead of inappropriate rock music at inappropriate times. Fiona. No talking. Fiona. Oh my god, go away. No, don't come in. What do you want, Debbie? You awake? Oh, oh my god, Fiona can't even get a moment to herself. I know it's not about that. It's like she just has to take care of everyone but herself. Somebody stole the baby. They think it was my mom. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm not gonna change my mind. Yeah, but you don't know that. I mean, you, you could really. I don't want that fucking thing anywhere near me, okay? Fuck. I wanna hit Wendy's before they stop serving breakfast. Does Wendy serve breakfast? Back to being a legal resident around here, Steve? <laughs> Jimmy. His name's Jimmy now. Steve was just a, an alias he used to lie to me about mm -hmm. who he really was. Mm -hmm. Not cool, Jimmy, Steve. I meet your family. Oh my god. Oh no, you don't. That's not gonna happen. I'll bring by some stuff. Wow. He really does love her. Really screwed up Thanksgiving. No, it was no big deal. The kids? I must have scared the shit out of them. Yep. They're good. We uh, talked it out. Oh, shut night. up. No, you can't. I love you. You belong with us. If you love her, then let her go. They perform lobotomies now. No, they don't. Shock treatment? No. no, they don't. Actually, I think they do. Princess Leia did it. When our lights dim, some poor fucker's getting his brains fried. Don't listen, Uncle. Eat your breakfast. What's a lobotomy? She's not better on her meds. She's a zombie. She gives up everything she loves in life. Yeah, like what? Drugs, you. Drugs, alcohol, you. you. Mm -hmm. Us. Oh, my God. Take it out. I think he's napping. Take it out. I don't want to touch it. Please don't do this. Well, give it to the retarded freaks home or whatever. He's oh. my grandson. Maybe she should keep him for a while. You know, who knows what social services is going to do with him. Butt out, Lip. What are you even doing here? He's not even yours. This is none of your goddamn business. At least call Tim Wong or whoever the father is and tell him about Get it. Get out! No. Yes! He is staying with me. And she's moving out. Then I'm calling the police. Oh, my God. <clears throat> so? Like, just come home. I want you home, Lip. That's the right thing to say. We all do. You have to say sorry, too. Can you leave? Right. Ugh. <sighs> Get rid of Mandy. Yeah, fuck you too. Ma'am, is the baby in the laundry basket? <sighs> so, this is your mother, and she wants to take care of the baby. Yes, but I don't want it here. And you want a total stranger to take him 
for the state of Illinois to be responsible for him. On the taxpayer's dime? Oh. Oh. You hungry? I'm thinking time. Yes, sir. I'm glad he. That's set it. it You're just gonna leave. Nice seeing you, Mrs. Jackson. Tell mom you asked after. He's just a reminder it's to you. It's even that baby, mom. Of how guilty you feel. That's your choice. Frank, I came to get you out. Stop. Oh my God. <gasps> Who is it? Did you come? Who the fuck is that? Um, Frank, this is Jill. Jill, this is my yeah, husband, that's... Frank. What's her face from <laughs> Dharma and Greg? What is her name? Oops. <gasps> oh I'm my fucking so God. You are the mysterious Fiona. And these are Fiona's oh brothers. Oh my God. And Ian? Oh! <gasps> nice to meet no. you. No. 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 Stay away from me. I'm not I'm gay. Not gay. Oh, of course not. Really? Bi, bisexual, What's whatever. Honestly, anything that walks, that's me. <laughs> oh God. God. Her crazy girlfriend is gonna come out too. I love you. Wow. <laughs> Everybody always leaves. <sighs> I won't. We'll see. Oh my god, really? Get the fuck away. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. What the hell happened? You fucking kidding me. Marco. Wait, Marco did this to you? He hit you? Did Marco hit you? We're still not done with him. Really? Daddy! Really? I am not. <clears throat> Ooh. He's just gonna give it to I him. am not a mind reader. <laughs> if you do not know an answer, move on and come back to Me or the baby? The baby. The baby, sweetheart. Fuck. Fuck. Don't fucking go with her lip. Karen! Don't even think about it. Let her go. Karen! Karen didn't even have like a bad life. Whoa, no. Those are mine. Come on, let him go. No, put it back! Are you fucking. Oh, fuck, hey, fuck, fuck, no, fuck. No, no. Fuck! Hey, you hey, hey, fuck! Oh my god. Wow, thank you, Estefania. Thank you. You filhos da puta! Igual o Marco batendo crianças e mulheres, que isso? Yes. Covarde! Just out there! Oh my god! Home sweet home! this hey, man. <laughs> winter already I'm gonna make cookies <laughs> no I right. don't mm. yeah. Liam has to go to the clinic for his next set Get up here. Right. Leap. Oh God, please don't. I so cold. Oh my God. You hot? That's fucking stupid. <gasps> it snowed that much? Oh my God.
L for loser. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Wow. At least there was a happy ending for Fiona for this season. Um, I feel bad for Debbie. Um, Monica just left again, just like Frank said she would if she got back on her meds. Um, they are better off without her. Better off without Frank. I'm glad Karen is gone. I wonder if we'll ever see her again. Um, she's just so toxic. Um, and once she was gone, um, Lip could move on. Um, he went back to school. He aced his AP physics final or whatever, or test. Um, I mean, he's a genius. He can rule the world if he wanted to. <laughs> Fucking Estefania coming back into their lives. I thought we were done with her and Marco. Um, I wonder if it's going to put a strain on uh, Jimmy and Fiona's relationship. Um, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe she's just going to be there to have sex with Lip. Lip needs to be with someone. Always. I hate that so much. She's just, she just has, like, no purpose. Estefania has no purpose. I love that she knocked out Frank after he attacked Ian. But, like, other than that... Whoa, calm down. Other than that... Um, she really has no purpose. She's just being... She's just written as a sexual object. Being passed around from guy to guy. Um, it's really unfortunate. <laughs> Such a stereotype. She doesn't speak any English. All she cares about is being naked and having sex. Um, she's always up for it. That's so just unrealistic and a fantasy for the men that wrote this. I really hope um, Lip doesn't continue with Mandy either because I don't like her either. Um, she's just as toxic as as um, Karen um, and her home life is like disgusting um, her brothers are disgusting all of them her father's disgusting um, you do not want to get mixed up in that family um, I'm guessing we're gonna see more of Monica um, since you know they're giving her not only a new girlfriend but the actress is um, I can't even remember her name, but she's from Dharma and Greg. Um, I don't think she would take a small role. So, I mean, I'm sure we'll see them again. Fucking, oh my god. Ian and Jimmy's dad. We find out it was Jimmy's dad that Ian slept with. Oh my god. And he's still hitting him up. He's still trying to hook up with him. Um, he said he, you know, fucks anything that walks. <laughs> Um, yeah, but I'm sure his wife doesn't know about that. Ian kept trying to tell Fiona several times that they had an affair. I'm sure it'll come out next season. Um, I wonder if Jimmy will care. I wonder if he'll be surprised or if he's, you know, he expects that of his dad. Or maybe it'll hurt him. I don't know. Maybe he'll look at Ian a different way. Maybe he'll be pissed at Ian. I don't know. Maybe he'll be pissed at the dad. But of course, <laughs> another, you know, grown-ass married man sleeping with a child. It's like... This fucking show. <laughs> this fucking world. <gasps> like, he's a child. He is a child. <sighs> um... Oh my god, what is the age difference? Harry Hamlin was at least mid-50s there with a teenager. Oh, my God. Ugh. It's like the only choices that Ian sees are Mickey or older men. It's like, no. <laughs> I hope they give him more to do next season because Ian really had, like, nothing to do this season. Um, except the good parts were when he you know, got in a fight with 
lip and um yeah i mean that was pretty much it because mickey for whatever reason couldn't be in this season he had to go to jail i'm guessing the actor probably had other stuff to do i love that fiona and jimmy are back together um he really makes her happy she makes him happy um it was sad at the beginning that you know they, they were having this beautiful romantic moment this romantic reunion and then Debbie comes in um and Carl and Ian but it's like it's like it's so um complicated because on one hand yeah Debbie and Carl and Ian they needed someone to comfort them after being traumatized by seeing their mother try to kill herself and blood all over the place. Um, but then at the same time, it's like Fiona doesn't get, she never gets a moment to herself. She never gets um, to be alone with her boyfriend. There's always someone knocking on her door, always someone who needs something from her. Um, and then I love that at the, at the end there, when she's listing all the things that she needs to do all the things that other people need from her. She needs to bake fucking cookies. She needs to, you know, do things with Debbie. She needs to, I don't know what else, What I don't know what else she said, but it was way too many things. And I was just like, you know what? Just fucking enjoy your fucking cunnilingus. <laughs> and, you know, just enjoy Jimmy's lips um, and tongue um, for, you know, the next hour because... After that, someone's going to be knocking on your fucking door again. Or just not even knocking. They don't even knock. They just come in. It's even worse. Um, But it was so beautiful. And she was like, you know what? Just screw it. Like, um, I was like, good for you. Because you deserve it. You deserve to be eaten now, Fiona. (laughs) You do. (laughs) Um, If that's what you want, you know, and you want Jimmy to be the one to do it, that's what you deserve. Because... It's like, when does she get her fucking chance to be a normal fucking 21-year-old, 22-year-old, however the fuck old she is? It's like, it's not fucking fair. Um, All those fucking kids. It's like, she must have so many moments where she just wants to tell them to fuck off. That's gonna happen. That's gonna happen. She is gonna snap. One of these seasons... I can't wait for that. I can't wait for her to just be like, you know what? Fuck all of you. Like, take care of your fucking selves. I'm leaving. Like, it's amazing that that hasn't happened yet. That has not happened yet. It's, that's crazy. Like, she has so much willpower. And, and they showed that, they showed that a couple episodes ago when, when, I think it was when, um, Lip told her that, like, the mother was arrested and, you know, she kind of just broke down. And then she, um, you know, she just, she, she took a moment to herself to cry. And then she just sucked it up. And then she just went back to cleaning up the mess in the kitchen. And then she did that um, in this episode, too. She broke down a little bit. I think it might have been the first time that Jimmy saw her ever cry. I don't know if he's ever seen her cry before. Um But she broke down and then, you know, she went back to cleaning up her mother's blood all over, you know, the kitchen floor. I mean, that's always always what she does. She just keeps going. She just keeps, you know, um, sucking it up and getting back to doing what she knows needs to be done because it's all on her shoulders. Everything falls to her. They're all looking up to her. Um, you know, they're all looking, relying on her to take care of them. Um, and she just keeps doing it. That's why she's a hero. It's, that is what a hero is. It's, it's, it's not that, you know, someone needs to be perfect all the time. A hero is someone who keeps going, keeps getting back up despite all the fucking shit that keeps happening to them. Um, And that's not an easy thing to do because I feel like most people, 
when, maybe not most people, but a lot of people, when, you know, shit is happening to you, they're probably more like um, the parents, like Monica and Frank. They just give up or run away. Um, but Fiona is not like that. That's why it's so beautiful to see her. It's beautiful to see her struggle because then you know that she's going to get back up. Or at least try to get back up. Um, because she's doing it for other people. She's not doing it for herself. She's doing it for her family. Oh, God. Oh, I love Fiona so much. Um, I really like Lip, too. Even though he can be a fucking mess, too. But I love that he came home. Um, I love that he came home and... <laughs> Frank is out on the lawn. It's just like another day. It's, he's, it's like a home sweet home. You know, back to... You know, nothing has changed, basically. Um, and he's back. I love that. They all hugged him. and um, He's back at school. Um, I'm looking forward to next season. I'm looking forward to seeing them grow up. I wonder... Because I was told that this season was filmed, like, two years after the first season. So, they, like, people had to wait. Um, and then, you know, they all got older. I wonder if, if it's... Is it two years between each season? Or maybe it, that was an exception because they didn't know... I don't know. Maybe the kids had school or something like that. I don't know. But, I mean, Ian's going to be bigger. Lip's going to be bigger. Debbie's going to get bigger. Like, I bet you between this season and... The premiere of next season, Debbie's going to be huge. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to see all of them. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for, you know, joining me and supporting this channel. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are well during this time. I know it's crazy. And I know all of you probably are going stir crazy, but hopefully this is a little distraction. Um, it definitely helps me <laughs> to, to know... Um, you know, not only to watch this, but to know that, you know, it could be helping some of you, um, you know, alleviate this, uh, this funk that we're all in. But yeah, um, that was Shameless season two. Um, I really enjoyed it. If you did too, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like full reactions and early reactions, please check out my Patreon by going to the link down below. And I will see you next season, season three. All right, guys, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Bye. I can't tell you.